Hi everyone. If you are looking for investment, want to raise finance, want to sell your business or simply want to track your financial results more closely, then you may be looking to have a financial model that is tailored for your business. Normally, these models are shared with other stakeholders such as proposed bank, corporate finance advisor or crowdsourcing platform. All my models will have a number of assumptions and metrics that are tailored to your business. Of course, every business is different, and so we take time to understand the business model, review the financial information that is available in the business, and then iterate through a number of drafts with our clients. Aside from simply architecting and building the mechanics of the financial model, we can also add value by giving you our opinion on whether the assumptions or future results are aligned to the expectations of your external stakeholders. For example, is the growth too much or too little? Are you generating enough cash? Are your overhead assumptions realistic? I've been creating financial models and business plan for over 16 years and my models have helped raise more than 100 million in financing. On this YouTube channel, we will also be posting different financial models or business plans that may help a business owner calculate the amount of financing needed for the project, profit, payback period, and many, many other financial metrics. And also using these models, a business owner will be able to see what type of inputs may affect this or that business idea. So. These models may be some kind of a checklist before you start your own business. Today, we will be overviewing fast-moving consumer goods or simply FMCG business plan or financial model. If you have some business idea in mind, this very simple model or business plan will answer the following simple questions. How much financing is needed? What is the payback period? What will be the cash flow? profit and profitability of your business idea. You also want to know how this or that type of revenues or expenses affect your business model. This is very interesting and exciting. Today we will be covering main groups of inputs. Then we will be overviewing the cash flow statement, charts, diagrams and finally sensitivity analysis. You can download this model using the link in the description of this video. If you find value in our content, kindly remember to tap the like button and subscribe. You can also share this video with your friends who have some business ideas in mind. For any inquiries, suggestions or feedback, we warmly welcome your thoughts in the comments section below. This video will be about FMCG financial model of a business plan. In our model, all inputs are colored with blue, all other cells are automatic. First of all, you enter the year when all your financial projections start. You start with naming your markets. This can be different countries you are going to operate in. Then you specify the month and year when you start selling your products on each market. You can also switch on and off every market to see the financial efficiency with or without this or that market. This item will be very useful for the future scenario analysis. Now let's move to one market and look at input data more closely. First of all, let's name all products for this market. Of course, you can switch on and switch off any product from this market. This will help you later during scenario analysis. Then we have to specify the sales plan for each product for the first 12 months of operating activity. These 12 months are special because they are the first. Separately specifying the first 12-month sales plan, we can look afterwards at cash flow statement to see if there are any operational losses before your business idea reaches break-even point. Looking at the cash flow statement, you will be able to see what are the first month of operating losses and also be able to see the scale of these losses and the duration of the period with these operating losses. This is very important for the business owner at first month of operating business. It's because he needs to know how much extra money he must be ready to invest in financing of operating losses. All this is vital because all this time, while operating losses do exist, the entrepreneur is patiently waiting until the investment project becomes finally profitable. Then we look at the next 12 months of operating activity. 
These are 13th month to 24th month of operating activity. And here we make a typical year sales plan seasonality. Your sales may be stable inside a typical year, but also you may have some seasonal fluctuations in sales, which are to be mentioned here. We have a simple rule. The total sales plan is 100%. Here, we must allocate 100% of sales among 12 months of a typical year. If we allocate more than 100% of sales, we will be shown a mistake sign. This sales plan with specified seasonality will be extrapolated on all other years of our financial projections, except the first 12 months of operating activity. Then let's move to sales gross percentage to the previous year. Then we move to direct costs. In the first column, you name all your direct cost items which take part in your business. Then you set up the price per one unit of each item of direct costs. Your direct cost item may have some term of supply. Here you can specify this term. Zero means that you can get this material month and month without any term of supply. One means that if you need this item today, you need to buy it one month beforehand. Here you can specify up to six months supply period. The next column describes how often you buy each direct cost item. One means that you buy it every month. Four means you buy it once in four months. Twelve means you buy it once in a year. Here you can enter amount from one to twelve. Then you go to the next block of input data concerning natural consumption of direct cost item per one product. Here, from top to the bottom, you have a list of all direct cost item. From the left to the right, you have a list of your products. In the input area, you enter natural consumption of each direct cost item in metric we buy it needed to produce one product. Now we move to the pricing strategy. Let's describe this block of inputs. You have four types of customers for each product. Then you distribute produced amount of each product between four types of customers. If distribution is higher or lower than 100%, you will see the mistake alert. Then you set the price for each product for each customer type. Now you have to describe how your customers are going to pay. Here we have months from 1 to 4, 1, is the current month when the product is sold. Here you go to the future months from today's moment. If you sell it in this month and get all money in this month, you put 100% here. If you sell it in this month but get all the money in the next month, you put 0 here and 100% here. Here you can construct any payment algorithm. If you set up more or less than 100%, you will get a mistake alert. Then we have a payroll table where we mention salaries, positions and amount of people on each position. Our current market may also have some fixed costs, which can be specified here. The next block of inputs deals with investment needed before we start operating activity stage. Green column will show you the moment when you get the first revenue. Moving to the past from the moment of revenue, you describe the investment stage. Here you can specify what item you are going to invest in, when you invest in, and how much you are investing. Going ahead, we also have a depreciation table. If we have a depreciation for the investment item, we can set up a depreciation status and specify the period for depreciation in months. The same story with inputs happens with all other markets. The next block of inputs deals with taxes. You can set up the tax rates and move to the cash flow statement, where you will see the results of financial modeling. Cash flow is the main statement where you will see financial efficiency of your business idea. What valuable information can you get from this table? First, you can see the total revenues, direct and fixed costs, payroll and taxes. Second, you can see your monthly profit and cumulative cash balance. Third, one of the main things you can see from the cash flow statement is total amount of money you need to start your own business. If you see that total financing is bigger than the amount of money you have, 
you can add loan parameters. Amount of loan, month and year you get it, loan term in months, interest rate, and grace period for interest and body payment of the loan. After cash flow statement, you can see lines with profit and profitability. Then you can set up the discount rate and look at the final financial efficiency parameters of your business idea. Now you can see the graphic illustration of your business idea. Here we see in monthly detail simple and discounted payback periods, loan coverage ratio, revenue and total expenses, profit, profitability, cash balance, cumulative profit, operating profit, and loan payment. Then we have the same information done yearly. On the next Excel sheet, we've gathered yearly consolidated cash flow statement, profit and loss statement, and main financial results for your business idea. Finally, we see the financial efficiency of your FMCG business idea. Is this model stable? What will happen to your business if revenue decreases or expenses rise? Now it's time to apply sensitivity analysis. Further, we have several Excel sheets where we test financial efficiency. We test the influence of such parameters as revenues, fixed and direct costs, payroll, investment, interest rate, and loan amount. How does it work? For example, let's go to the revenue sensitivity test. Here we set up the pace of increasing or decreasing the revenue. Then we push Sense button and see when our financial efficiency will go negative. Now you see how stable your business model is. Plus, it is the best moment to rethink your business strategy before you start investing your own money in your business. Maybe it's a good time to return back to the inputs and create new scenario, which is more financially strong. The same story goes with all other blocks of sensitivity analysis. So this was FMCG financial business model, which can help you quickly check the vision of your future business idea. The link to download you will be able to find below in the description of this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends who have business ideas. We can also create Excel decision-making tools, financial models, business plans, Power BI dashboards for your business. See you next tutorials and follow us for more.